For $60 less, should you go with the new Jabra Elite 4 active? or pay a little bit more to get the Jabra Elite 7 active. How will they fare against loud background or wind noise while making the call? So wind noise is the name of the game, the Jabra Elite 4 active. And overall, I think it has a nice sound, but definitely you're drowned out by the surrounding noise as well as the wind muffling a little bit of speech. So this is the sound of the Jabra Elite 7 Active. And very similar to the 7 Pro, I feel like there's a little bit of some sort of processing, a dampening of the environment, which I guess you can't hear while I'm talking, but definitely if I'm silent, you kind of hear it. At the time of this recording, the Jabra Elite 4 comes in at $119.99 while the Jabra Elite 7 comes at $179.99. Both come in black, navy, and mint green. Although the mint green on the Elite 7 seems to be a bit darker than on the Elite 4. And both of them are dust and waterproof rated at IP57, so you don't have to worry about getting them wet. Both of them are supposed to be your fitness style active earbuds, but the look is so subdued and actually stylish in my opinion. So both of them are pretty secure so you don't have to worry about them catching or anything or slipping out too much. For the Jabra Elite 4, there seems to be a small button used for the Elite 4, which makes it a little harder to press within this triangular design. For the Elite 7 Active, it has a very teardrop shape, so I'm assuming it has a larger button, which makes it very easy to activate or use. The Elite 7's claim to fame is a shake grip coating, which is supposed to help with, of course, not slipping. It actually feels good in the hand. It's like, like a suede. The Elite 4 has some sort of plastic polymer on it, but overall, I like the Elite 7 Active. It just feels better in the hand. Here through. ANC. As for active noise canceling, I think they were pretty much on par, although I did for some reason like the Elite 4 Actives ANC. I don't know, I just feel like it drowned out a little bit more, but maybe that was just me. What are your thoughts? As for controls, they are both identical. You have the right earbud controlling most of the multimedia functions, while the left cycles through the sound modes, ANC, transparency, and all that jazz. But the button controls of the Elite 7 Active are able to be further customized within the Sound Plus app. The Elite 4 Active is only charged with USB-C charging, while the Elite 7 Active is USB-C and wirelessly charged. With the Elite 4, you can cycle through the sound modes, you have music EQ and EQ presets. And you have minor personalizations like choosing whether you wanna hear your voice through calls, side tone, or the level of customization you want for your active noise canceling. So with the Jabra Elite 7 Active, you have everything I mentioned before, plus you have soundscapes, music hearing profile, and ear detection. You have whether you can mute or unmute calls, or whether you remove them, call EQ. You have sleep mode. You can choose, of course, your sound mode cycles. My fit, where you can find the fit of your ears. You can choose the level of ANC you want. You have my sound to personalize your EQ based on your hearing. You have my controls, where you can adjust your controls, and it is just a whole buffet buffet of personalizations. The Elite 4 Active is definitely a more budget-friendlier version of the Elite 7 Active. It does a lot of the main things that the Elite 7 does well, and actually it's pretty close in my opinion. But if you want the bells and whistles, you want the overall look, the shake grip coating, the personalization, the ease of use, the customization, then I would go with the Jabra Elite 7 Active. But if you want the basics, good mic quality, good AMC, nice fit, look, then I would go with the more affordable option of the Elite 4 Active. 